Look, I spent a lot of time watching YouTube over the holiday. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. And I kind of stumbled across something that I went, ooh, wait a second. And I think I'd known about it in the back of my head, but I'd never actually watched it in practice and being, mm-hmm. being done. And that is these things called hard tops for actual pinball machines. Oh, yeah. You know about the hard tops. I do. So for those that don't know about hard tops, hard top is basically a one thirty second of an inch piece of plastic that has all the art printed on it from your particular cabinet. And it's got an adhesive on the back and you stick that thing down on top of your play field and have a perfectly glass smooth surface, perfect cabinet art. Um, the adhesive is not going to be moving around on your, uh, you know, at all and give you lots of life to this. And it is it's costing like people... doing a full playfield restoration, but without having to do the art touch up. Exactly. Without thing. having to do the art touch ups. And for a fraction of the price of buying a, uh, CPR, brand new play, brand new play field, which is mm. going to run you about 800, 850 bucks. Uh, yeah. these are going to run you, uh, I'm looking at the site right now, 315 to 325 for them. Mm. Um, so, of course, I went to their website and decided to look up the two tables that I have. because, And I've never shown this on, on the, the podcast. Mm. But I've got my firepower, right? Yeah. And I have the play fields right here, folks. Yeah. So I'm going to show you a little bit of, uh, of what I'm dealing with. One second. Let's flip this over to Jared so that we can do a more surprise reveal. <laughs> mm. oh, we, for those who know Firepower, it's got a very busy planet in the middle of it. Oh, don't mind and, that was just noise. well, it's sort of, uh, yeah, it's a bit of a, uh, it's a bit of a dog to try and repair. It's uh, so detailed a, in the middle there. Just a little bit. So let me get my microphone up here. So that, because I got to be able to stand and, and do this. All right, here we go. You ready? Yeah. There's firepower. And yeah. as is usual, oh man, I got the wires coming in. As is usual, the middle of the play field gets rather hammered. hammered. And that is not the easiest paint job in the world to try and replace. And if you'll notice, my upper area is really oh, it's hammered. hammered. Oh, it's hammered. Part yeah. of that is my doing because I needed to smooth out the inserts and repaint the red lasers. And yeah. uh, if we keep on going down, now you'll notice I have nice bright white because I have done painting on this. <laughs> yes, that's the first thing I do when I get a play field. I did all fact, of that white around the pop bumpers. I redid all the lettering um, in a nice bright white. So Yeah, that looks really good. You know, so I've done quite a bit of work on it, uh, you know, but it's these black areas with the, the wood showing that is an absolute mess. Um, oh it's God, pretty... you should see my, you should <laughs> see my Force 2 play field, Chris. Like, I've had to do some touch-up on that for because it was down to bare wood in a fair few places, and uh, I can't color match, and I, I I got something that was as close, close as possible to the blue that I thought it was, and it wasn't really quite right, but I went, you know what? I'm going with it. And yeah. so this is a new blue. <laughs> it's so, on the play field. So I've done a lot of a lot of work on it, but I've also gotten to the point where I'm just like, okay, do I just put on the final coat of clear? Because I've cleared it, sanded, cleared, and then done the painting, and then cleared that. And yeah. then I put on water, uh, water slide decals. They didn't go down all that great. There was a little bit of bubbling. Mm-hmm. I don't think the clear was going to make them nice and clear. So mm-hmm. now I'm contemplating peeling all those and hand lettering. Oh man, all That's the inserts. Not easy. Like um, I'm looking at particularly that font, which is like a a digital number font on. It is thing. a digital number font. Um, I and mean, I'm confident in my I'm confident in my abilities to be able to do that if I can use a paint pen. To which, yeah. if anybody out there has done paint pens, um, let me know what you used. <laughs> Yeah, because uh, I've heard some people using acrylic. I've heard some people using uh, oil based, and I don't know which. It is... depends on what your top coat's going to be. So, what 
are you using on your top coat? It's going to be two part auto clear. Okay, then you don't use acrylic. <laughs> you use enamel yeah. paints. Um, uh, you don't mix. You don't mix um, um, oil with water because it doesn't mix. <laughs> so, yeah, you're going to get uh, crazy bubbling and all sorts of bad stuff happening right. if you do. Right. So you stick I, with I the don't one. Want any of that. So this is once again I got to the stalling point. You know what the biggest stall is? Is I don't want to have to. Uh, I don't want to put the wiring harness back on. Oh yeah, it scares yeah, that's me beyond a... belief that it just sits there. I've got it on a piece of cardboard, all you know, like how they told you to just slide off, put it over to the side. It's quote unquote easy, you know, if easy you, to do. It. Yeah, and and I watch these repair not... videos of what people do, and and I just go, yeah, it's easy to do if you've been doing this a while and you can identify parts just like that. Whereas me, I'm gonna be like, uh, what is that? <laughs> Particularly as you haven't done it for like two years. Um, um, longer. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm I'm even having that trouble with the force too that I've got. I haven't I haven't like depopulated. I've depopulated the top of the playfield so I can actually do the art touch ups on it, and right. you know, eventually run my um uh, super cheap auto um color spec over the top. Uh, my I cyanate free stuff. Um, but like it, uh, it's been a while, and it's been over a year since I depopulated the playfield. So I'm going to be piecing this thing back just based on the size of the wire forms and stuff like that when i get right. back and doing it. i i did take pictures but they're a year ago i'm gonna have to go all the way back in my photo album for a year ago and try and find them and you i know, didn't it's... baggy things the way that you're supposed to baggy them and you know the hard it, 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 there's, there's a lot of headache that's going to come with that but yeah. here's the thing i feel like with my painting that i'm i'm close and, it looks pretty good. And, like, it's what I call player condition at the moment. Right. And if I did get enamel paints and did a job on it, um, obviously it's not going to look perfect. Mm. And, uh, you know, but it's going to look better than bare wood. Let's be serious. Right. Right. But it's then, have like I said, color on them. Yeah. But then, like I said, I started watching these hardtop videos. So. Here's the hardtop website, and look at that. They have firepower, and Ooh. look at how vibrant all of those colors are looking. It's just like it looks so, it looks so different to oh. yours because it doesn't have all the fade on it. Right, it doesn't light. have the yellowing. Mm. Um, it's it's the true colors. That black, you know, is nice and black. It it's is real black. gloss shiny. So shiny, yeah. So shiny. And the what people have been saying is that it um, they've never the, the thing has never played that way when the, you know when they're done the, it, the ball is almost too slick and too yeah. too fast on it but on a table like firepower that's kind of the whole point um, yeah it's it's not bad to have it like that because right. well the, the flippers and everything on that table they're not strong I've played one in real life and even with brand new flippers and assemblies and everything. Yeah, having a hard time getting out the top. Right. Like, it's not easy. So the advantage is, I don't have any ramps on this. Because apparently no. if you have ramps, you got to account for that 30 seconds of an inch height difference, and it throws off all the geometry of everything. You have to do micro adjustments on everything, too. Like, even oh, on scoops. Yeah, because even on scoops where it's shooting out, you think about the, the clearance tolerances. If it's just that much smaller, the ball might start hooking as it's coming up. and oh. Again... I don't have any of that on firepower, so it's not an issue yeah. for me. So that would be easy. Here's where it gets scary. <laughs> In order for you to get the best surface possible... You gotta shave off all that paint, Chris. Oh, oh you shave it down to the wood. You make yeah, that it, thing it as smooth as possible with an orbital sander so that every single insert is exactly the same level. It's the entire oh, yeah. thing. You're starting with bare wood. Yeah, it's basically a white wood. Yeah, you've got yourself a white wood, so you either do it or you do it, <laughs> basically. Which is just why I'm like, oh my god, do I go that route or do I just try and finish this? And I'm almost thinking of just finishing this up and and being being good with this one being what it is, because I don't necessarily know that uh, this is a table that I will keep um, well look i put it this way for the long run if you were not going to keep the table 
I would I would do it on this one. If I were I, not I, going I, to keep the table. Yes, if you were not going to keep the table. Yeah, but I don't want to invest the money in something that I'm just going to ditch. What, you'll be able to sell it for a lot more if you do. Like, if it's got a really good play field on it, and, I mean, you, you're doing all the work on the mechanicals and everything like that, you <laughs> sell it. first-timer. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, it, will, will it flip? Yes. Yeah. Will the play field look brand new? That's going to add in this market that we're in at the moment. Well, well I'm speaking from Australia's perspective. Oh, yeah. It's ridiculous the price they're asking for pinball at the moment. Um, but, you know, you you probably need to, like like with anything, look at your cost of restoring, which, you know, you don't want to look at because it's 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 horrible to think of how much it would right. cost to actually restore pinball. But, like, on the raw parts alone, like, how far are you in? What would adding this to the, the build cost and what would the final price you could command be? Because, you know, everyone knows that Firepower has junk play fields if they're not restored because of the problem with the, the, the center planet. So mm -hmm. if you can offer one that's basically completely factory fresh brand new play field, you, you're going to have a good time. Because you know? something else I have to factor in, I don't have the right soundboard. I have to buy a whole new soundboard um, if I want to have the, the, because I don't have speech on mine. All I've got is the the sounds. Um, oh right, right. Cause oh, because you don't have the talk and talk. Right, because yeah. somebody had put the wrong, you know, had swapped that out and replaced it. Um, you know, the back sure glass, is, the back glass is pretty that. good, but it's not pristine. So that's why I'm that's what I'm saying is, if I'm gonna if you put down this beautiful, beautiful playfield, playfield, and everything else on it is still just standard, like my plastics are a mess. Um, I would need to uh, buy all new yeah. CPR plastics. See what I'm saying? Okay, well, putting it that way, yeah, don't invest the money. Right. But you've got another table in the wings there, don't you, Chris? What I about do. That one? And so my other table, and uh, gee, look what they have. They have it also. I have an 8-Ball eight eight Deluxe. Deluxe. And the problem with my 8-Ball Deluxe is all down here. All oh, my cue balls up. have massive, well, I shouldn't say massive, but a lot of cracking. <laughs> in it. Oh, right. They've got a lot they of... They feel so smooth, but obviously the dirt has gotten into that, and so it's a mess down there, and there's no way I would bother repainting that. No. Um, it's too hard to color match as well. Yeah, the the rest it's of the play field that I have is, is pretty decent. My plastics are pretty good on this, especially okay. since this is the table that my friend uh, laser cut me new clear plastics that all go along this edge here, and I'll go along this edge. So my plastics are actually quite good. Okay, uh, so this is the one you do it on. This is the one that I'm thinking that I would yeah. do it on if I were going to do it. But again, it comes back to, do I have the guts to depopulate well, the play field and sand it? I've seen Ed at um, the uh, the Pinball Shack here in Brisbane do it, yeah. and and he's had a lot of success with the hard tops. Like he said, lining them up isn't as hard as you think because no. they give you very good instructions to actually do it. So providing you've done the work and you've really given that play field a good level sanding, um, it's going to be fine to yeah. do it. But you've really got to put that work in. Like you've got to put the work into the play field and really, really get in there with a orbital sander well, or like a mouse sander. I just know before I can even think about it, I got I, I actually have to finish firepower. <laughs> yeah, do that first. Get it flipping. Um, but, you know. But I am um, curious if anybody, if 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 any of you out there have dealt with uh, painting on playfields, uh, again, if you know of a particular brand of ink pen or paint pen um, that has the colors of fire, I mean, basically, I'm only looking for it's, they're probably married colors. It's I need a purple, a green, a blue, and a yellow, and a, and a good black um, mm. that I'm going to be dealing with. Um, you know, if it's something that you're able to buy off of Amazon or if I just go over to Michael's and, you know, buy from there. Um, just curious to know what people actually use. Because um, mm. I've seen some videos where guys are doing exactly that with paint pens, but they blast so fast through what they're using that I can't identify it. 